Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are talking about interview preparation, specifically the NHS. The National Health Service is the main healthcare provider here in the UK. When you qualify as a doctor, the NHS will be your employer, so it is very likely that medical or dental schools will ask you about the NHS, but especially if you are an international student. So let's go back and talk about the history of the NHS. When the NHS was originally founded, they had three core principles. Number one was that everyone's needs should be met, in other words, it would be appropriate for all members of society. Number two was that it would be free at the point of delivery. Before that, you either had to pay or you had to go through some kind of charity. And number three was that it was based on your clinical need and not on your ability to pay. Instead of being tiered according to your insurance premium, you would be entitled to get what you need. Today, if you search online, you'll be able to find a document called the NHS Constitution, where they identify seven key principles that guide how all parts of the NHS should behave and make decisions. So something that you might have heard of when it comes to the NHS are the six C's. Now, the NHS aims to embody and recruit staff according to these six C's. Medical schools also often use these criteria to recruit new medical students. Therefore, many of the questions that you might be asked are designed to test these core values. A top tip is to try and identify which of the values they are referring to in the station so that you can be more targeted with your answer. So let's look at these six C's in a bit more detail. The six C's are care, compassion, communication, competence, commitment, and courage. It's important that you are able to refer back to some of the work experience or the volunteering that you've done to demonstrate that you align with those values. Let's take care for example. Think back to some of the volunteering that you've done where you've had to care for somebody. This could be in a care home or at a charity or working as a babysitter looking after a child for example. For compassion, you can draw out examples from your work experience where someone has had a difficulty and you've helped them get through it. When it comes to communication, think about times when communication has been particularly hard for you and you've had to adapt yourself to make yourself understood. This could be with people who have a hard time understanding you, for example people like children or people who have language barriers or people with learning disabilities. For competence, think about times when you have gone above and beyond compared to your peers. You may have achieved some kind of prize or an EPQ or various other outstanding achievements. For courage, think about times when you've had to speak out or you've had to help someone else who was being treated unfairly, for example. Maybe take an example from your volunteering or even your own personal experiences. Let's say you had a friend or a family member at the hospital and you needed to alert the healthcare team that something was wrong. For commitment, this is where you can demonstrate that you have stuck with something for a period of three months or longer. This could be during your work experience or during a part-time job or anything that demonstrates your reliability and your resilience. If you are struggling to get work experience or you just simply don't know where to begin, then check out this playlist, which has many videos to help you with that, or check out the FutureDoc website for more information on one-on-one -on -one mentoring and coaching. Okay, so what do you need to do in order to do well in these stations? Well, firstly, make sure that you are aware of what the six C's are. I would also make sure that you have pre-thought of different examples and scenarios scenarios where you have demonstrated those core values. Have those scenarios in the back of your mind and make sure that you've practiced speaking them so that you are confident when it comes to that situation. I would also ensure that you have different personal examples where you are demonstrating how you align with those six C's. Make sure that you have thought of some of those situations and experiences beforehand and make sure that you've practiced speaking them in a way that is clear and coherent so that you get your point across. Again, if you'd like some more information on one-on-one -on -one coaching in order to practice doing this, then check out our website. I would also make sure that you understand and are familiar with the background of the NHS. 
when and how it came about and make sure that you know the three core principles that it was founded upon. Also, don't worry if you can't recite the seven principles of the NHS constitution word by word. It's okay that you don't know all of them, but make sure that you are familiar with them and that you are confident speaking about a few. And also make sure that you understand why they are important for today. Also, the NHS is always in the news, so make sure that you have read up on current affairs and what's happening at the moment. Again, this is a very common topic that comes up, so if you guys would like to hear more about how you can answer NHS hot topics, then leave me some comments below and we can make some videos about that. So that was everything on the background of the NHS and the six Cs. I really hope that you found this helpful. Remember to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.